Hey guys, this is a 97 uh, Porsche Carrera 4S and this one happens to have the Clue Engineering uh, Serpentine Kit. Uh, the cool thing about it is uh, it makes belt swaps a lot easier uh, by constantly keeping belt tension uh, and also not having any sort of shims that you have to mess with. Uh, the only thing that I didn't like was when I got the car and I didn't know it was tied to it uh, I went through the instrument cluster and replaced bulbs and I noticed on the clock one for the belt I was missing a bulb so I put it in and it remained illuminated so at that point I started looking back here and I did find I found the pigtail uh, kinda like hanging like so uh, but definitely a cool setup uh, and what I'll do is we'll fire it up after and you can see it actually running uh, so I bought the car with this already on it and one of the things I did, did a little bit of research uh, and this is one of the things I kind of uh, hope that Clue would actually includes this and this is just a, a jumper that I made uh, using the Bosch uh, EV1 type connector uh, the male uh, or if you happen to have the pulley that you took out I believe you can probably use that somehow to retrofit and make an adapter uh, out of that uh, but for me I definitely want to make sure the bulb was in place and everything was working the way it should. Uh, definitely a cool kit. Uh, so increases reliability. Uh, my understanding is, because I know there's people concerned with the belt speed or alternator speed, uh, it happens to be in between the Porsche RSR and stock configuration. Uh, so I put about 300 miles on this since I had it and have not had any issues with it uh, at idle. Uh, even with lights on, I don't see them dim uh, as an indicator of not having uh, proper uh, amperage. Everything appears fine. Uh, the only thing, like I said, the not having a sensor here uh, definitely plays kind of like a role with regards to uh, having that light come on. Uh, that's something that I don't want. So what I'll do is we'll uh, I'll just go ahead and actually quickly try to install it and see if I can balance the camera here. I'm actually doing this free here by myself, so uh, see if I can. Uh, you might be able to see that. So, anyway, so here's here's the pigtail. So my uh, my EV connector, I'm gonna plug it in and push it down out of the way. I'll tie wrap it. I'm just doing it quick right now for the purpose of the video. All right. All right. So we'll go ahead and start the car, uh, and then you'll actually see it running. So uh, one of the things I didn't like was obviously the lights being on uh, something I couldn't tolerate Let me just bypass the security here so this was the light that was on right here the lower right here the belt along with the cell the exclamation point so and I had to manually hit the override button in the center console so now it's gone so didn't understand and the uh, the book doesn't I couldn't find anything in the book that actually shows you that the cell indicator that, that the light was attributed to that so uh, so that's that now let's go to the back of the car Six seven hundred bucks and then the labor to do it, and you gotta drop the exhaust. But when it comes, I guess swapping over the belt. Uh, definitely a nice setup. Uh, so the fire owner definitely uh, invested well. I like it, and uh, like I said, looking forward to uh, easy belt swap Uh So and you can check out uh, cluit.com for more information. Uh, thanks for watching. Take care.